Okay, while we finish up our eating, if, if we're all ready for it, I'm going to go ahead, if, if the judge has had a chance to eat his food. He said yes. I'm going to have him go ahead and come on up, and um, we're all looking forward to hearing about what's going on in Ohio County, and how can we, as businesses and organizations and citizens, help um, our county government in um, building the progress of our communities. How about that for a lead-in, sir? That'll work. Come on. Thanks so much for having me again. Uh, this is my 14th address to the chamber. Uh, this is May and not January, so I'll do it a little differently than we would. Uh, there's been many changes in our community over the years. Even in these 14 years that I'm talking about that I've been here, our community's changed a lot, but we're still the greatest place in the world to live, even though the changes that we've had. Uh, one time, coal mines, coal mining was the thing that brought people to Ohio County. Many of our citizens here came here, or their uh, parents came here for a job in coal mines. And that's great, that, that defined our community for many years. And as of right now, we have no coal mines operating in that county. So it's changed. Our county, is, is, as far as the economy goes, is very diverse. And that really helps us when uh, one area is doing badly, uh, another is doing great. So it helps us being diverse. As you know, manufacturing and food processing is big in our county. And now bourbon making, and because of the new opportunities, the farm is even growing in our county. And although one of our employers recently decided to relocate, we are in a period of unprecedented growth in our county. Our best unit of measure is our employment tax. We can tell how we're doing in the economy by that. And it continues to grow even with, uh, uh, we've grown more than we've lost, is what I'm saying. And right now, at least three of our employers uh, have are in the middle of doubling their numbers that they are employed. And more are planning to do so. And we also have new things being built in our county and many more are coming. Uh, in the next few years, the economy is gonna be great for our community because of that growth. Whatever month you have Jason, he'll be a little more specific. But there's some things that's coming that's never been in our county before is going to uh, grow. Uh, Bluegrass crossings, I pr predict it's gonna be full and we may get a new uh, industrial park that's larger than it. Uh, I'm not gonna go into any more detail. Uh, like I said, Jason will do that when it comes his time. Governor Bashir will be here next week to announce a new uh, expansion of a business. And that gives you an idea uh, how good we're doing is how many times the governor comes down to announce one, pretty regularly. Uh, his first year in office, he wasn't here at all. And since then, he comes more frequently and uh, we're, we're probably gonna go ahead and just build him an office down here so he can stay for a while. Uh, but that's a good thing because it's always announcing something good, either a new industry expanding or uh, a new uh, pot of money or something, it's always, it's always a good thing when it comes. Now that more people drive to Ohio County to work than they're driving from here to work in other places, that's, that's unusual. Because over the years, many people live here, but they'll drive somewhere else to work. Well, now they're meeting more people coming here to work than they see on their way to their jobs in the other communities. So uh, that's a great thing. Then when it comes to tourism, we have changed from a drive-through county to a destination. Beaver Dam's amphitheater is one reason. Their population triples when they have a concert. The population of the whole city does. And uh, 
People come from all over the world to see the birthplace and home of bluegrass music or to attend one of our events for the music. Uh, and also many events right here at this park brings in tourists. Uh, large things happen here that bring people in all the time from far away. And another thing is driving our economy. If any of you have dri driven through Hartford lately, you may have noticed that we have a new surgical unit on our hospital. And we're a go-to county for health care, not a go-from county for health care. People coming here, we don't go to them. I'm stealing that for a marketing campaign. Please do. Everybody give the judge credit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the changes in the community is, is what I'm uh, focusing on today. I'm not getting up here and bragging about how many miles of road we've done or how many air county roads, uh, how many miles of uh, water line we put in or all these things. That's what I use, that's what I do in January where I'm here. Today I'm talking about the change of our community where we've changed. Uh, we've changed in diversity. We see it, uh, uh, folks coming in to work at Purdue and the other factories too. And that's a great thing. Our community is kind of diverse in our people as well as in our, uh, the way our economy runs. Uh, our community now, we have a very good rate of uh, folks that have been in trouble with the law or offended and then re-entering life, re-entering after serving time or something, of succeeding. We've been able to give them some tools that they need to succeed. And that rate, I'm afraid to put a number on, but easily it's been, recidivism has been cut in half easily. So that, that's, that's a great thing. And, uh, and you know, we established the arch office to do that, and we're pretty, very proud of it. Um, I know that, uh, Brother Bailey, we're not supposed to be proud but when it comes to Ohio County and this community, I just can't help it. I'm, I'm proud of it. And uh, that's what I'm going to leave you with is to talk, but I would also be glad to answer some questions. Like, like I said, it's just, a, it's just a great place to live, and it's improving all the time in, in our opportunities for, for work, you know, for your, uh, to make you living good place for that, good place to live, and like I said, we have people coming to us now, so I sure do appreciate your time, and uh, come see me anytime. Provided by Foodie Call, so give them another round of applause. And her team put a lot of love into um, their catering service. Um, and um, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Chuck Price, and um, he's going to give us the recognition of our second quarter excellence award. And before I get to that, I want to thank. Uh, Judge Executive Johnson. Uh, he was scheduled to be here in January. We had some weather, had to cancel, and he was gracious enough to, to come in May. Uh, I was looking out the window, <laughs> Judge Johnson, uh, and thinking about 40, 50 years ago when I was a child, this was just strip ground mine, mine spoils, and I can remember the coal trucks coming and going, and it looks pretty, pretty good now. And I think you, you're heavily responsible for that. Now, Bo, uh, so I, I, I think y'all should be proud. Calling all the time. Yeah. We've, we've got we've got a really nice part. Thanks thanks to the hard work and, and the foresight. So thank you for for that. Um, so our second quarter excellence award uh, winner um, is Shoreheads. Gifts and Sundries. Karen Ward is here to uh, accept that. Uh, 
five years in June that they've been in business. Uh, I've spent too much money there probably, or my wife had. Uh, if you haven't been, I highly recommend. Uh, they have uh, gifts and sundries. They have, have delicious lunches, uh, you, very unique uh, items. And, you know, one of the, that's one of the reasons, you know, that we selected them for our second quarter. Uh, their uniqueness, uh, what they add to the community. If you don't follow them on Facebook, I highly recommend you do. Uh, they have unique items, uh, dining selections, but they also give back to the community with different classes and unique things. And quite honestly, if we don't support the small businesses, we're not going to have them because Amazon doesn't care about Hartford, Kentucky, but Soreheads does. So our second quarter excellence award uh, goes to Soreheads Gifts and Sundries. Karen. We didn't know going in, you know, they say three years, you know, most businesses and, you know, through COVID, we handed food out the door, made porch delivery, so we made it through there and we continue lead to be blessed every day by the community. You know, we have people that come from different counties just to come, you know, and so we try to say, oh, well, you know, go to Beaver Dam, there's a boutique there, go to... Hartford, you know, there's the place here. So, you know, we try to promote everybody and we appreciate everybody promoting us and supporting us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to echo what you said, Chuck. I, I mean, I know myself as a business in um, this community that there's so many people in this very room that I call upon, I feel like on a weekly basis to support the efforts that we're trying to um, to take care of at Ohio County Healthcare. And, and the wonderful thing about Ohio County, it goes beyond networking. It's truly a community sport of each other and our businesses. And Soarehead's a great example. I don't know how many times I've called them last minute and said, hey, I've got an impromptu meal. Can you get me 10 lunches and a beautiful gift basket? And man, they're just there. They make it happen for us and they do a beautiful job. So thank you. Uh, Chuck, we get something exciting to do now. It's election time, which I think is very appropriate that it's on election day <laughs> that we're going to elect our new officers. Um, if you're a chamber board of directors, um, we... Do you want to do the, the trust, trust? Oh, yeah. See, that's why he's going to make a great president. <laughs> I just want to jump right onto the next agenda item. Yes. You want to draw? Ah. You want to draw? Go ahead. No. No. You can draw. <laughs> I'm gonna let you announce it. I just want to rush into getting president, so I'm out of here. <laughs> Number is eight eight seven eight five seven. <gasps> Look at that, Christina Gleville. I think Ju Judy will Judy will have your door prize. Okay. For you. told us both that before the meeting and we didn't listen, so we apologize to you. I blame Chuck. So we'll each draw two. Seven, eight, four, seven. We should 
sounds like, Bo, what did you get? We want to give recognition to the people who... Uh, Beepo Brady, $25. Nice. Subway, Christina. $25. Subway, $25. What did you get? Dairy Queen, $25. Dairy Queen, $25. Dairy Queen, $25. Look at the people. Look at the restaurants. Okay. 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 Eight, eight, seven, eight. I feel like that lotto thing, like, 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 sorry, eight, six, five. It wasn't you, was it, Joshua? Yay! So the main job of our Chamber Board of Directors is to keep me on track when I'm up here because um, they don't want me to go over. Okay. So those were such very awesome gifts from our local restaurants, and they were actually provided at First Kentucky. So we want to say thank you to them for their sponsorship of our, our food and our door prizes today. So um, we're very, very fortunate to have such good support. Okay, election? Okay. So if you'll note on your screen here, we have our current slate of Board of Directors. Um, you see your Board of Directors here at the Chamber meeting. They also meet um, on the first Tuesday of each month to work on any strategic initiatives for the Chamber of Commerce. Um, these directors do a lot of behind the scenes work. So any chamber activity, um, this volunteer board um, donates their time and their businesses' times to come out and make sure we can have things like the gala and our next generation leadership and our marketing forum and our um, IT um, technology forum. So these are all some great works of our Chamber Board of Directors. It's been an absolute pleasure for me to have these incredible individuals to work with this year as the Chamber President. Um, I'm so excited to turn the gavel over to Chuck Price because I think he is gonna have some absolutely great forward progress and suggestions of new things we can bring to our chamber. And so I think he's gonna do a terrific job for us. And he's been an incredible vice president. So I wanna say thank you to him and all of our board of directors for their hard work. So on your screen, we have our um, slate of directors. I make a motion to accept the slate of electors. Uh, we have a motion on the floor from Josh Coppage to accept that slate because he's ready to move on with this meeting. And I will entertain a second. Second. I got a second from Alex Emery. Um, all in favor? These chamber members, everyone can vote. Um, any um, nays? You can oust anybody on there, people. <laughs> okay, any discussion? Well, the motion carries then. So with that, we're gonna ask our new chamber board of directors, slate of officers to come up and we're gonna swear you in. We have three. We have three new members. Lee from Purdue. Ashton from Bruco. And Kyle from, from Hopkins Avenue. So this is how this goes. Oh, okay. Judy wants us. The light ruins So I'm going to say some things and then you're going to repeat after me, but I'll, when, after you say I do, that's when you need to start repeating after me. 
The office in which you have been elected is one of dignity and importance. In accepting this office, you undertake a responsi the responsibility which is not a, to be assumed lightly nor careless discharged. You are charged with the duties of seriously and resolutely furthering the objectives of the Ohio County Chamber of Commerce. With the policies and bylaws as your guide, you must be ready to exercise the function of the office in which you are been trusted to. Further, you have charged with the governing this organization according to the laws of, de of democracy, which under, under which laws every person who wishes to speak shall be heard. Towards the end, that, that in every matter considered, the best opinion shall prevail through the expressed will of the majority, and the best course of action followed. Do you accept, do you accept these charges? <coughs> All right. So raise your hand, right hand, and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will, or that I will seriously, execute the office of, seriously execute the office of the Ohio County Chamber of Commerce, the Ohio County Chamber of Commerce and will do my best, will do my best of my abilities to serve to serve as a living example, as a living example of this organization's philosophy and beliefs, organization's philosophy and beliefs embodied in the Chamber of Commerce Creed. Embodied in the Chamber of Commerce Creed. So help me God. So help me God. All right, there you are. Thank you for your service. <laughs> today and some who could not be um, so outgoing members are Garrett Addington and um, Garrett has um, done an excellent job as a board member and we're thankful that of his time of service Christina Gledhill who is here with us stand up Christina Christina was such a faithful board member if we had a ribbon cutting on this she would always be to support us and we appreciate her hard work and um, Mr. Josh Coppich. And Josh is serving in the role of immediate past president. Um, I don't ever remember a time on a chamber board that I served on that Josh was not on there. So he should not only get um, an outgoing member award, but like most years of service award because um, he has done a tremendous job. Um, and then we also have an outgoing member, Megan Gaynor, but she's actually leaving us as a director on our board and moving into our Chamber Vice President Award, or our award. <laughs> it is, it's a gift to you, Megan, our Chamber Vice President um, slot. So she will um, assist Chuck um, this next year in making sure everything happens. And with that, Chuck, come on up here. I'm going to officially present you, Mr. Chuck Price, with your Chamber President gavel. You're going to need it. And you, I mean, this can be a rowdy bunch. So um, I know you're going to do a great job. And thank, thank, you. You. thank you. So. Okay, I sure will. Um, so we've had to, we got the chance to welcome so many good people onto our board, but we also have some bittersweet um, sentiments we want to express. I think we've talked in the past about that. Um, Judy Law, who has been with us for so many years, well over a decade, serving as our chamber um, coordinator, um, is going to be going into retirement, though she knows that she's never really going to be able to leave the chamber. <laughs> um, she has kept us organized. She has been faithful and um, wise and um, has just been a, a rock 
for us to lean on in that department. So we want to say thank you so much for her years of service. We want you all to join us after the uh, June um, membership meeting. We're going to have a cake and punch reception following that meeting. And we welcome you all to um, talk with Judy and share any of your chamber memories and um, help us have a good send off for her for all of her years of hard work. Um, we were able to hire Miss Laura Guntner. 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 I cannot say it right, so you're going to have to apologize. Laura has worked with us in the chamber through social media for um, several years, and she will be taking on the role of chamber director, and we're very excited to have her. We know that she, along with the new presidency and Chuck, are going to do some really great, exciting things for our chamber. So welcome aboard. And I'll learn to say your name by the, um, by the end of the year, I promise. Um, and with that, I think, Chuck, you have some final announcements? You're welcome. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep it brief. I did want to say, I, I want to thank Judy for everything she has done. Uh, she was my sounding board. I was in charge of programming, and I threw a lot of new ideas at, at both she and CC. And so she was my sounding board as, as far as will this work or will it not. So Judy, you, you have been invaluable. As long as I, you don't change your cell number, I'm probably still going to use you as sounding board. Uh, CC has done a great job as president. I, I'm sure you all, all saw that. Um, she is a tireless worker. Um, anytime I had an idea, even if, if it was crazy, she would say, yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's see how it works. So thank you uh, for... <coughs> For everything you've done, You're very well. I appreciate it. I'm glad to have you on. We are going to be doing some new things next year. CC is going to be involved in some of those. Um, but at the end of the day, this is your all's chamber. We're just trying to help promote businesses. Um, it's your chamber. I suspect we'll be sending out questionnaires, kind of see what people would like to see different, what they like that we did this year in the past so be looking for that uh, Laura Gunter thank will you be, we'll be sending that out uh, sometime this summer so thank you and if you don't have anything else I'm going to let you oh. and keeping my praise on CC I love this let's just keep it going <laughs> and that's why I love Judy because <laughs> Judy keeps us in line and Laura will do the same so, Laura, take note. Judy told us all of this before the meeting, yet we still stand up here and we're like, oh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> to commemorate CC's excellent job that she did as the president 2023 2024, we would like to present Thank you. a plaque to our. Oh, it has a spot open my gavel. This meeting adjourned. Thank you all for coming. Uh, please come back to our June meeting at the hospital.